All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Chris. I just arrived at Fortune Town Mall here in Bangkok. Uh, easy to get to. The MRT goes right underneath. There's two malls here, actually. There's one across the street that has a lot of retail shops. This one is pre uh, predominantly food and electronics. They also have a uh, huge food store in here as well. Everything we think of, McDonald's, Dairy Queen, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, tons of local Thai food, Japanese food, Korean food. They have everything. They have a whole floor with like instruments, guitars, vinyl. The largest vinyl collection I've seen since, I can't remember, since like the late 90s. Maybe the last time I seen a good vinyl collection in New York City at multiple places. Here, they have an entire floor. It's all musical stuff. Uh, Hi-fi audio stuff, audio files, like crazy. So we're gonna walk around here, and I come here for the camera equipment because they have a lot of odds and ends you just can't find anywhere else. So I'm gonna flip this camera around, and I'm gonna take you guys to Fortune Mall. Now this is a mall I would not show or market. I would not show on my other normal channel. That's for fake markets. I'm a little disappointed in in Bangkok for the fake markets. It's uh. It's not their thing, you know? They do have MBK. I went there in a live stream. Very disappointing. I will go back and I will film it. I might stop there today, actually, after I leave here. However, uh, a little disappointing. But they have a lot of stuff in here. They have beyond uh, a sensible, beyond sensible amount of food here and coffee places. Everything's represented here. Absolutely insane. Now, I will point out, this is Dunkin' Donuts, iced coffee, and this was 50 baht, 50 baht, whereas Starbucks is 145 baht. Uh, if you could see my, my Apple Pay charges for Starbucks, I'm only doing it because of the 2% back, but it's a little crazy how much money I've spent in Starbucks that I've been here. I go to Starbucks a minimum three times a day. It's a little bit crazy. This place is very big. So we're on the, this is not, there's actually a basement floor too, ground level floor. These are all the places that are in here. Tons. And everything. Anything you want. Some beautiful pork right there, crispy pork. Tons of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff I never heard of before. Mixed in with stuff that I do know. All your Western stuff. star so we're going upstairs and we are going to look for a couple of things like I said I've been here a couple of times already every time I come here I buy something and in Southeast Asia this is probably the best place to buy anything when it comes to electronics here for accessories and for cameras or whatever else you need. Whereas uh, if you want to buy like a camera, if it's Canon or Sony, across the street, they do have uh, the official stores here in the other mall. But as far as, uh, I don't think they have a Panasonic store. I've seen a Panasonic store. They probably have a Fuji store. We can get everything here. So they have a, they have a lot to pick from, a lot of stores here. What's cool, if you're into accessories, they actually have down this way, they have a store, store for small rig, a small rig store. They have a store that sells other things that are kind of hard to come by. Uh, the gimbal I'm on right now, I actually bought this here the other day, and I was looking for the Insta360 Go 2 camera, but nobody had it. I scoured this whole place for like two hours. Nobody had it. So tons and tons and tons and tons of camera gear and accessories. Cameras, lenses. You need ND filters? Check this out. A lot of places, even in Istanbul, you go to get ND filters and nobody has them. Hello, my friend. So remember I got this the other day for you? If anybody asks, it can hold the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max plus the DJI wireless on it. You just have to off-center it and it works fantastic. So, because a lot of people ask, the iPhone 13 and 14 Pro Max don't work well on the gimbals, too heavy. 
This one actually works. It's the Insta360 Flow. I picked this one up right here. I got the Flow. And I wanted to go to, but nobody has it. So today I am looking at SD cards and I am looking at maybe another disc. Uh, but I'm gonna look around, uh, take a look. I right, thank you, my friend, I might be back, thank you. What we are looking for is a V90, V90 card, which, um, this is lights out, very sensual, very, very sensual. You know, these kind of arms are really cool. I have these at home on my desk, but not this Manfredo one. I like this one. But I can't travel back with that to, to Albania. So I still have to go to India. I still have to go to Vietnam. Then I have to go to Istanbul. But here, if you want the suction cups for the cars, the windows, you're trying to do everything. GoPro pieces. If you have a GoPro and you're always wondering like, oh, I got to order off of AliExpress, whatever. No, they got all the bits and parts here. Everything for the GoPros, everything you want. All the accessories, you can get them here. You don't have to get them off AliExpress. You can get them here. So they have, they have everything. This is one of the cool things. Now, you have to do a little hunting. You have to come. You have to look. But you can find a lot of stuff. So like I was saying, uh, I am looking for uh, the either another V90 card or I am looking for uh, another SSD drive or just a, a four terabyte storage drive. Put a lot of stuff here. Some of the stuff here is ridiculous. And like I was saying, ND filters. It's crazy. You can go to some place like Istanbul and you'll be hard pressed to find ND filters. I'm kind of liking this mini tripod. That one right there? Yo, that thing looks savage. Yo, that is nice. That is a nice travel tripod. I wonder how much that thing is. Traveling the tripod is, is one of the, probably one of the uh, hardest things to do. Um, unless you have a bag that has a tripod strap, carrying it around is pain in the ass. So you just, like, you know, you don't use it. But I do, I do like that right there. And I don't see it in there, but maybe they do have it. That thing is awesome. When I come back here, I'm gonna ask. This place has some cool, a uh, lot of cool stuff here. So it's an abundance of camera gear on this floor. So downstairs is tons of food, tons of food. And there's a ground floor below that one, tons of food. Here, it's all camera stuff. And then when we go upstairs, it's all musical stuff. I will say that today, coming over here today, the train, the subway, was very, very crowded. Uh, very, very crowded when I was coming over here today. Packed. Very packed. Yes, if you guys are ever in Bangkok, you know, where you're coming to Bangkok and you're wondering about, you're thinking about getting some camera gear or something. Like I said, you go to Istanbul and you're looking for ND filters. It's kind of like slim pickings when you would think the opposite. They have so many camera shops in Istanbul, but to get ND filters, to get step up rings for certain sizes, it's a little nuts. Now this place should be upstairs with the rest of the vinyl. But um, it's very crazy, like, uh, it's hard to get. You come here, they have multiple shops, just ND filters. And all the brands, magnetic ones, you name it, they have everything. They also have PC stores here. So you can get laptops, all your gaming, custom, rig, custom gaming rigs, you get anything you want here. They have everything. You want to do a dual phone selfie setup? You got two phones. All this kind of stuff that you would normally have to get online, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon. 
They have it here. And you can just come, check it out, and get it. Like I said, when it comes to um, computers here, they, down this way, it's all computers. As well as they do repairs and stuff here as well. Yeah, so all these type of accessories that you would just normally, like I said, you would have to order them. You just wouldn't be able to normally walk into a store and have such an assortment of things. Here, they have all these assortments. That's why when I came here last week to uh, buy a camera, nobody had it. It's completely sold out. Everybody, I pounded the pavement here looking for it. Nobody had it. And it kind of sucks because there's no official store here for Insta360. Um, and the one store that does had it last here is down uh, in the beginning when you come to the elevator and they didn't have it. Nobody had it. Tons of phones here. Yeah, if you need a cheap pair of headphones, Let's just say you're traveling around and you need a cheap pair of headphones. If you uh, want to get some cheap AirPods. Another thing too, if you do a lot of stuff on your cell phone, this place here, Snapshot, they have a lot of the stuff for your uh, iPhone or phones in general. If you want to get a case, like a grip case, the pens, they have Beast Grip. Uh, you get the free wheel, you get the free wheel uh, ND filters and stuff like that for the case for your camera. So they have a lot of stuff here. Tons of filters. Everything you can think of. Yeah, tons of stuff. You have, all, you have all the brands you want, Freewheel. So yeah, if you have a GoPro, if you have Action, uh, DJI stuff, they have all the ND filters. You don't have to order them. Like I said, if you're, it's hard to get certain things in certain areas of the world. This is where you come to get accessories. You guys ever wondering how to live stream off a regular mirrorless camera or to record it straight to your phone? You gotta get a SEMO, a Soon SEMO. It's not as simple as that because you need to have a battery on the back. It gets a little heavy, but you can do it. Uh, let's see, what do they have here? Uh, these are V30s, 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 all V30s. Okay, all V30s. Translator earbuds. You can get translator earbuds here. I bet. Okay, nothing. All right. Gonna have to keep looking around. They actually have a small rig store here, actually. Down at the other end, they have a small rig store. Uh, so you don't have the, uh, I think I asked last week when I was here. Insta360 Go 2. The little, Insta360 Go 2, the little tiny white one. The little camera. In Insta360 Go 2. No. All right, thank you. All right. So yeah, this place is good for the ND filters. We're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs has computers, the music stuff. Yeah, the thing about uh, V90 cards or V60 cards, or V30 cards, most people will never use anything above a V30 card. Unfortunately, all your newer cameras with higher frame rate, slow motion, right? To use those, they require higher grade, higher speed cards, higher write times. So you need, we're gonna go down this way first. So you need, um, you need a V90 to be able to do certain frame rates for certain slow motion speeds, or you need you know, a V60 or a V90. And believe it or not, there are actually some cameras that even a V90 card, you can't do certain, uh, certain slow motion speeds. You need to have a CFast card. So 
it's the only thing you got to keep in mind. And the difference in price, I mean, you can get a you get a V30 card for like 30 bucks, you know, depending on what size you need. A V90 card will cost you on average $150 for the same amount of gigabytes, just because of the speed of the card. Nope, 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 nope. No, not a very common thing here. It's not a very common thing in many places. You know, you go, you go buy a 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 dollar camera, and then you gotta go spend 150 plus for one card. Most cameras nowadays take two cards. So let's see if they have anything interesting. Looks like a little bit of an like AKG. I was about to say, it looks like a lot of knockoff stuff, but no, they have Scarlet, they have Scarlet, Focus Red Scarlet, no. It's all name brand. I don't see any universe. Oh, they have Universal Audio, Apollo, all right. Wow. How much do they want? To get any of this kind of stuff in Albania, completely, utterly impossible. It's only 5,000, 50,000. Hmm. Yeah, I would love to get myself an MPC again, but. How much is the other one? The MPC one is actually a really good machine if you're into music production and you don't want to use an old style MPC. This is the way to go. I mean, this one has the built-in speaker, the live. Uh, this is the live two. This is the best bet to go with for mobile. But this one, this one's technically not mobile. You need to have a power supply. This one actually has a battery in it. So, I did not see this the other day when I was here, which is very interesting. So this one is 32. That's 32. And that's 50. Hmm. I wonder what's the weight on that. If I could put that in my bag, I'll take that home with me. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just, I've got you too. I got you too much in here. I'm gonna have to come back after the stream on this one. They got me a little crazy. They got me thinking a little different here. Get the novation. How is that? On some circle beat sampler. All right. I should have never came down this way because I did not see it the other day. And now, now I'm thinking like, oh, how do I fit that in my suitcase? How, how do I sit that, fit that in my suitcase? How, how do I take that with me? How do I buy that thing? I only left seven kilograms in my suitcase. But yeah, so this is what it's like. We have a, we're gonna go down this way. Hope you guys are on board. I, I'm just showing you this on this channel. Like I said, I, I can't put this stuff on my other channel. My other channel is for serious market stuff. But I gotta tell you, Thailand, Bangkok in general, I mean, I understand there's people that made videos here and they've got millions of views, a half million views. But the reality of the market stuff here in Bangkok, you gotta do some heavy editing to make videos look interesting. I'll just keep it like that. There is nothing here. There's nothing. It is a very, uh, crazy thing of how poor the markets are. I want to get my passports. Hmm. Yes, they, have, they have everything, they have the latest. They have the latest and the greatest as we say. I built a custom PC rig. Um, the end of last summer? Yeah, the end of last summer. And the thing with PC gaming is really is kind of crazy. That within like two to three months, you wind up like upgrading something else and then upgrading something else. Like I've upgraded the thing uh, to a second case, third graphics card, uh, switched out the GPU, 
the GPU, I mean the uh, CPU three times already. Motherboard, I'm on my third motherboard, like, it's crazy shit. And the, and the funniest thing is, when I came back from Istanbul in January, I never even used that. I've only done updates on things. I've not used it. I haven't had any time. I haven't had any time to play my favorite game, Call of Duty. So you can get everything here. It's like a dream, you know? It's like, it's really a dream, this place. If you're into cameras, if you're into computers, it's a dream. I'm trying to see if he has, I don't see it. I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it now. No, no, they don't have it. Yeah, I really would like that small camera so I can like uh, pin it here. And then this way I can distract, when I go into the markets, I can distract people with like craziness and they're not paying attention to the camera that's on my chest. But a GoPro, I had the chesty for the GoPro or the Action 3, but it's not the same. It's like, obviously you have a camera on your chest. You're not fooling anybody, but this is what's interesting about this place. So like, you have all the PC stuff down there. The second floor is pretty much all camera stuff and some cell phone stuff. And then up here, it's all guitars. Like, I'm sorry, I still have the Akai MPC in my head. I am so crazy that I am really literally thinking, what can I, what can I remove from my suitcase? Like, what can I throw away that I could fit that? I don't need the box, I just need the item. Shit, I'll take it on a plane as my one item. My personal item. Some ladies take their purses, I'm like, yeah, I got my MPC with me. So if you're a big audiophile, some crazy tube apps. Like here, they have tons of stuff. It is crazy. I was not expecting this. I knew about this mall, and I've only ever seen like the camera stuff. I never paid attention to anybody that came in uh, for music stuff. And what is even more impressive, so I saw the guitarist when I was here, the first time I was here. And it was the first full day I was here, I came here. I wanted to come here right away because I was looking to buy something. And I was lucky I got it. I got it at the other mall though. And when I came here, I'm looking around, you know, and I'm all like, yeah, 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 this place is amazing. This place is all great and everything. What's that? Oh, a point of view? Oh, they got the point of view for the phone. Oh, uh, we may need to purchase something like that. What's that one? Uh-huh, car holder. Look at this one. The hell? So you can wear that around your neck. Point of view, should easily point of view videos with this smart capture. This might be uh, a purchase. This might be a purchase. Okay. I don't think she has it. I'm gonna see if she has it. Oh, let's see. Tons of accessories. Oh no, I think I asked her the other day. She doesn't have it. She only has accessories. So if you want us to give GoPro and GoPro in your car. They have all the stuff for that. So they have all the 360 extra pieces, but they do not have, look, they have the go-to lens filter kit, but they don't have the, they don't have the camera. So they don't have it. And there's the actual holder. So they have the holder, but not the camera. Nobody has the camera. What we want is the camera. Yeah, they got video game stuff here. But, acoustic guitars. Yeah, but here's the thing. This is what, this is what tripped me up. So we saw a vinyl place downstairs. Okay, it was one, no big deal. But then, look at all the vinyl that they have in this store, right? And I was like, I was like, that's crazy. They got all this vinyl here? And I'm like, 
granted, you know, it's going to be expensive, but if you're somebody who digs records and you sample records and you want to get that MPC and sample records, well, and you're going to live in Thailand for a bit, this is where you come because you can get a record player, right? You can get a record player. And then look, look how many records, look how many records you could dig through here. I mean, this is a crate digger's paradise. This is absolutely stunning. And there's a setup for you right there. I mean, for real, this is a crate digger's paradise. If you're into sampling records or even listening to records, okay? But sampling records, you go downstairs, get yourself the MPC Live 2, um, get yourself a record player, or get the MPC 1, that's cool. Get the MPC 1. I had the MPC 1, I really enjoyed that thing. Um, but it didn't make the cut to travel with me when I left America. But yeah, awesome. Look at this. And that's not, that's not the only one. There's more. There's more of this stuff. And not only that, you're so hot, you get yourself a cooling fan. Right? Like, if you were insanely that hot. Oh, what do we got? We got the 770. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't get started on uh, PC, uh, building custom PCs. Don't. If you haven't already, don't start. Okay, V90 card, V90 card. V90, V90. Nope, 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 nope. No, no, V90. V90, 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 V90. Nope. No V90. The kid's gaming at work. Props to him. Shout out to him for gaming at work, for really not caring. More records. More records right there. I mean, you're probably not going to find any real hidden gems. You're probably not going to find any real hidden gems. Here's a, a watchmaker. Oh, oh, oh. That one looks cool. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you're probably not going to find any hidden gems in the... Uh, in the vinyl stores, however, in the record shops. However, the fact that you can get vinyl here, you can get record players, you can get MPCs, you can get keyboards, you can get guitars here, you can get cameras, you can get food. You can stop and get a coffee, get something to eat. You can get your cell phone fixed if it's not working properly. You can get charger cables. You can get so much stuff here, it's crazy. You can build a computer while you wait. They have Pelican cases. They're not Pelican brand, but they got custom Pelican cases. Tons of computer repairs. Looks like an official G-Shock, maybe? Yeah, it's a real one, I think. I think it's a real one. That's a real tag. It's a real guest watch. So that real tag, they want 6,500 bots for it. But more vinyl stores right here. It's actually pretty insane. This, this is the type of mall that I like. This is, this is my type of mall. This is what, this place is closed. This place is always closed. I don't know what's up with this. But look at those boom, listen to those speakers. Look at those speakers. I wouldn't mind putting that in my apartment. I got this really big apartment and I wouldn't mind putting those speakers. Get a little Superman, Superman, Superman. But this is my kind of mall, you know? Just different type of shit. Look at this. Look at this. It's a digger's paradise. It's very cool. And they got a good collection too. They have anywhere from like pop music, you have rock, you know, some crap like One Direction. You know, we got the carpet, like you got, you got everything. You got soundtracks, Daft Punk. You got a lot there. There's another one there. There's another one here. I mean, here is real crate digging. You're actually, they're not milk crates, they're wooden crates. But you're getting four for, you're getting four for a thousand, one for 300 looks like. Okay. So a thousand is basically like 30 bucks. Think of a thousand as like 30 bucks. So, not terrible, expensive still. It's not terrible though. 
The world has changed. The world has changed. Here's some 200 vinyls, some 300 vinyls. It's $100, 45s, right? Like, okay. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Very different. A lot of stuff for audio files, like serious audio files. Come on. This is some serious, serious shit. These shits are very expensive. But if you like your, your high fidelity, you want to hear every crackle in that vinyl. Like if you want to hear every crackle in that vinyl, if you want to hear the voices that were recorded in the studio, and I don't mean the voices that were supposed to be recorded, but just the ones that were picked up on those old records. If you want to hear that stereo separation between, actually we're gonna go, we're gonna go back this way. If you want to hear that stereo separation between, look at this, look at that. If you want to hear that stereo separation, you, you gotta get some audio file stuff. It's, it's a different world. You know, if, you, if you're one of those people that just sits at home and you sit back with a glass of wine or maybe a beer, and you just sit in your chair and those, you have your speakers set up perfectly to hit your ears correctly, the right angle, and you just take it all in. Here's $200 bins, $200 bin, 200 baht, I'm sorry, not $200, 200 baht. So 200 baht is gonna roughly about $6, it's roughly about six. We're gonna go down. She plays with the cameras. She plays with the cameras. All righty. This is back on the second floor. Back to camera heaven. And what's good about this one, you get some sushi down here to the right as well. I didn't go this way. What's this? Fortune Town live streaming? Huh? Uh-huh. There you go. That'll be the new thumbnail. It's appropriate. Is it raining outside or something? It looks so dark out there. But yeah, if you come down this way, you can actually get some sushi. I think it is raining outside. Yeah, they got everything. Absolutely everything. And if you ever wonder how they make product photos, you know, you get a soft box so you can take your photos. Sushi na. Sushi na. Yeah, you can get sushi right here. Get some copies, making copies. Open 11 to 9. Last order, 8.15. Get a big stack of fish. Hmm. So you have all your different stuff here. So if you are into like, you need uh, ND filters, you need wireless systems, you need recording systems like Atomos. If you need anything from small rig, they got the small rig store here. So they get all your cages for your popular cameras, all the accessory for action cams, for the cages and stuff like that, if you need anything like that. Then here, they have a mixed door. They have Polar Express if you're looking for um, ND filters. They have anamorphic lenses. They actually have uh, like Pelican cases, smart cases, stuff like that. Awesome place. 7-Eleven. What would it be without 7-Eleven, right? What would Bangkok be without 7-Eleven? And they have an ASUS service center. They have an M1 authorized service center. They have everything. And that's gonna be the end of this video. The end of the video, because we've walked Fortune Town. I did not find my V90 card. I do have to go ask some questions some places. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, we're gonna end this here. And I might catch you guys later, tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tonight. I wanted to do the midnight market in Chinatown, but it's gonna rain supposedly a couple hours during the night, and it starts at midnight. So we'll have to wait for that. Other than that, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.